Buenos dias, fuck boys. And Hello, fuck everybody. girls. Yes, very have to be inclusive. Yes. Uh, welcome back to the void. I'm player one. I am player two. And welcome back to Dangin Bimpi, a Bambi Libamba. I swear to God, you're having a stroke. You you know what we're here for? It's school mode. You know? Yeah. Um, like and subscribe. I'm I'm not doing that anymore. Like and subscribe. There you go. Thank you. It was cringe. Um, just just ask. Also, how are you liking the shorts? I'm um I'm on my short art. It is pretty cool. Does that mean you're gonna give me your extra two feet? Please. You so said you're gonna go on a short arc. I need the height. So. I don't want to be 5'5. Five five. Who do I heal? Mm. He's going on cleaning. Makoto needs to scavenge. Now here, Chihiro. Oh, Hero is, um, busting out. Yeah, he's there. Um, okay. That's, um... Hmm. I think we're ready to go. Because I haven't been realizing that different places use more energy. Okay. It, so now no it one actively shows you. I know, but I wasn't paying attention. Also, oh. Celeste leveled up. Look at, look at uh, Hina's blanket uh, compared to... Um, <laughs> really? They, they really did not have to do that. Damn, this game is sus. Okay. Who? Wait, did we decide? It was Taka. We decided to talk. Yes. Hello there, sir. What's up, my boy? Yes, yes. Yes! Wow. Okay. Now you have to talk to yourself again. I feel like this is going to be most games. Alright. Gloves, scarf, chin drill. What? The chin drill. Oh, he likes the chin drill? He likes these. Huh. Oh, are you sure I can have such a splendid gift? I've been wanting to tell you something for a while now, Makoto. You hear me? And now that it's just the two of us, this is the perfect time to confess. I love you. I love you. What? Huh? <laughs> Listen, Makoto. Your hoodie is awesome. Thanks. Thanks? You have really amazing fashion sense. Now, wearing a hoodie under your school uniform, your public morals are ruined. Just absolutely ruined. Okay. Sorry, did I do something wrong? Your dress code was pretty flexible in my old school. You understand? Well, that's not the case here at Hope's Peak Academy. As long as I live, I will protect our morals. Mmm. I've said this once, I'll say it again. There's a difference between law and morality. Yeah, but the, the, the takeaway here is as long as I live. Ah. Uh. Take off that incredibly stylish hoodie this instant. No. Right now? Of course! Crap. Taka seems to be taking this really seriously. I better come up with a good excuse or I might actually have to give him my hoodie. Raincoat doesn't make sense. We're stuck in here. Flashlight. Makeshift hard hat. Makeshift, makeshift hard hat. hat. That sounds about right to me. But this is the next best thing to a hard hat. 
hard hat. Yeah, I mean, this school's really dangerous, you know? There's no telling what might happen. So, like, just in case, you know? You may have a point there. I do. I totally do. Well, if it's for your own safety, I suppose I can give you special permission just this once. How did we know? Ah, I've been coming up with lies like this for a long time. But the instant this school goes back to normal, you will hand over that amazingly cool hoodie. Yeah, you got it. No! Students these days are utterly ignorant of proper dress code. It's quite a pain. And frankly, I don't stand under understand youth fashion these days anyway. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to teach you all about how you should be dressing. Huh? Getting fashion advice from Taka is... Well, let's just say unexpected. I wear this uniform 365 days a year, rain or shine, flood or drought, wind and hail and hurricane. Also, that's not how you spell drought. Drought? Drought. Drought? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be drought. Sauerkraut? Even on your days off? Even on holidays? School itself may observe holidays, but there's no such thing as vacation for a student. Yes, there is! It's called a holiday! <laughs> so as long as I live the life of a student, I will always wear my uniform. Uh, oh, I just saw something that might, uh... I did IRL that might upset Taka. What have you done? So there's a Spanish exam. Okay. My teacher knows I was... I've been struggling for a while. Okay. And, uh, she let me use a practice sheet of paper, go home and write out a paragraph in Spanish. In Spanish. Okay. An idea came to me. Mm hmm I took two sheets of paper, set them, like, on top of each other to make sure the lines were together, were in sync. And I pressed down real hard when I was writing. The old imprint method. What do you mean, old imprint method? I came this up is, with this on the spot. This is not a new thing. I was proud of myself for coming up with this. I you passed that. You tapped into the morphogenetic field. I... My dude, I passed that class with a B. I was a D average. Damn. That trick saved me. I felt pretty clever coming up with that. And she never knew. They never do. She... She... She might have known. I don't know. I like to think she didn't know. I didn't want her to know. I see. She was a good teacher. I just suck at other languages. Also, I have ten sets of my uniform, so I always have a clean one. There's nothing strange about that. Yes, there is. No, I'd say wearing your uniform when you're not at school is totally strange. I better keep that to myself, though. Ha ha ha! Trust me, wearing the uniform every day helps keep you motivated. You should give it a shot. Taka is exactly the kind of guy I thought he was. I... hope... He isn't. It seems like he is. I hope he isn't. I feel like we only got like maybe two more sessions with him. Hey there. Oh, okay, Mukuro. Mukuro Ikusaba. Me. Mukuro Ikusaba. Skuburo Upumaba. Winky. Really? Hmm. God damn it. What? I gave him a milk and he- I gave Leon and Kyoko milks and they didn't go up a level. They're still just- uh, uh. Sleep. You have to arm wrestle one of the dudes. Chihiro. They don't count. That he is a man. He says so. He just is insecure. No. no. You have to wrestle Sakura. You, get, <laughs> you have to arm wrestle Sakura. 
but you get one person to help. Fucking Hina. She'll go easy. I'm sorry, but I will not go easy on you just because you're a friend. What? Breaks the table. But it's like that one scene in regular show where Skips just lifts Rigby into the air and smashes him through the table with the arm wrestling contest. <laughs> no, Chihiro's dead. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry. If you look at the uh Wait, I think I know. Did Kyoko not have a boob indentation? No, she didn't. And uh, What the fuck? And Sakura only had a slight indentation. What the fuck? Fuck, that's fucked up. They they made separate bed sprites for different boob sizes. Yes. This game. Hello, Taka. I wonder if Mondo's has like the same like sort of uh, bed sprite as uh, Sakura's does, just because he has a big chest, because he's big dude. Mm. I feel like that'd be very funny. I'm weak, Makoto. So very weak. What happened? Haven't you realized? The school is missing something of utmost importance. Textbooks! Glasses! I'm... Uh... Can't say I really miss that stuff. I'm just gonna come out right out and say it. I'm freaking out! As we speak, we're being left in the dust by other students our age. I, um... No. 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 Uh, hmm. I'm totally freaking out. Makoto, what should I do? If I keep involuntarily skipping class like this, I'm gonna reach dunce status in no time. It's really not that big a deal. Just calm down. You were always at the top of the class that your private school used to go to, right? I mean, you're basically genius level. So even if you miss a few classes, it's not the same as just some ordinary kid ditching. Why did this switch to the uncanny music? Genius? Don't say that. Huh? I'm no genius. I'm a normal person, just like anyone else. I'm from a middle class family, you know. Actually, they're not even middle class. That's why I have to push so hard. I have to knock down that wall. It's not geniuses that change the world. It's ordinary people who make every effort they can. Is... You have an inferiority complex? And to prove that, I have to keep on making effort after effort after effort. So don't call me a genius. Don't lump me in with those lazy clods who don't put any effort. No, I think he's... Hmm. Sorry, it's not what I was trying to do. No, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. But I only said all that because you and me are the same. You and me, we're just normal people. We know what it means to have to make an effort. That's why I want you to know exactly how I feel. I understand. In other words, And that's why I'm so passionate about my works on the Morals Committee. I want to create an environment where everyone has the opportunity to give it everything they've got. You hear me? That's why I put all my blood, sweat, and tears into creating that kind of environment. I want everyone else to understand that too. In the end, you can't succeed if you don't try. Anyone who says differently is selling something. Effort is everything! That's the only way to fix anything in this world. And I have to prove that to all the ordinary people out there so they'll keep on trying. I have to become the ordinary man who can surpass any genius. Damn! Taka's kinda spittin'. <laughs> Those are the feelings I carried with me when I entered Hope's Peak Academy. But now that I'm trapped in here, I've been robbed of the opportunity to make that effort. So now what I'm supposed to do? Taka. Sorry, Makoto. I didn't mean to make you listen to my pathetic complaining. No, it's not pathetic at all. I can totally understand why you'd be upset. You obviously feel really strongly about this. I really hope you don't give up hope and start to lose track of what you want to do. If you really believe that effort is what matters, then you can't give up, right? Because if you can't make that effort, then what do you have left? Oh! Oh, come on. I think until you said that just now, I'd totally forgotten what I was here for. 
The foundation of effort is the will to never give up. You're right. I have to try, no matter the situation. Even without classes, without assignments. I can just look back at what I learned already and re reinforce those basic principles. Yeah, good idea. I'm glad we had this talk, Makoto. Wow, I feel so much better getting all that off my chest. As a way to say thanks, next time I buckle down for a study session, I'll make sure to invite you. you Let's work together as fellow ordinary people to show those geniuses who's boss. His face filled with the unwavering confidence I was used to seeing from him. I feel like maybe I'm starting to understand him a little better. But I still think he might be a genius. Specifically, he's a genius when it comes to effort. Still, I did notice one thing. He seems to have a lot of hostility toward the idea of someone being a genius. Is there some reason he feels that way? I blame Byakuya wholeheartedly. I feel like there's one more session for Taka. We'll kick Byakuya in the nuts so bad. We you know, we you know. Fuck Byakuya, and I stand by that. Ooh, Celeste is feeling pretty yum yum. And not how Taka wants to fuck Byakuya. I mean, like, punch him in the dick. In the dick. Grab his dick and... Twist it! Yo, dick twist! Yo! Yo! Coke bottle glasses! Reduces the amount of HP lost. We need these. We still cannot make a damn one. Spirit bomb! Grants hyper energy for the next. Ooh. Okay, so we still need oil paint, electronic table, triangle. We still have not found one single triangle ruler. Ah! And we need all the, all of those, all the fucking all of those. Why is this shit so hard to get? Because fuck you. Also, the triangle ruler has to be in the class. Everyone have everyone search the class. I'm gonna have four on the class. Alright, then we need people to clean. Ifumi's cleaning, he's level four. And then some of the girls are gonna clean. Um, don't don't leave some don't leave the girls alone with Ifumi. Don't do you're that right, to you're them. Right, you're right, you're right. I guess you can rest, hero. Meow, meow. Have her sleep. Alright, then have, uh, Hina clean. But she's only level 2 clean. I yeah, think. But look at her energy level. I think with Celeste on Hyper. And Sayaka, Ifumi, and Leon, cleaning should be fine. And then, oh, Kyoko. What the Kyoko, what the fuck? You thought you were just gonna skip working? Get the fuck back to work. Alright, that should be good. This can't believe the game canonically called Kyoko flat. Toko, too! Yeah. Makes sense for Kiro, cause. Femboy. Uh -huh. Level there's, there's not usually anything there. Yeah. Triangle ruler. We Yay! Got, we got one. We got one. Alright, Taka should be a last. Taka, my boy! I'm gonna Taka with Taka. <laughs> I wanna see Taka in a fight. I feel like he wouldn't. I feel like if he was pushed to fight, he'd be like... Almost unnervingly good. We did see him in the sauna, remember? And he was ripped. Yeah! Meteorite Arrowhead? Is that a JoJo's reference? Holy shit, you might be right. Would you like to study with me, Makoto? Just the two of us? Yeah, and he's gonna take us to his room. 
Come to my room. If there's anything you don't understand, I'm a very attentive teacher. I don't think I need you to be all that attentive. But sure, you don't mind if I stop by? Hmm. Of course not. Okay, let's do it. Head to his room. Hey. That's a goddamn chart. Hmm. He's put inspirational posters on the metal sheets. Yeah. What's that big one by the TV? I think that's a chart chart. And he's got a book. Look a little thing. Okay, okay, Taka. Welcome, Makoto. You're the first guest I've invited to my room. Now that we're here, let me pose to you a question. Question? Oh, look, he's got a kendo stick for training. Oh. She does that's, know how to fight. That's how he got buff. <laughs> Don't worry, no studying required. This is the most basic of basic questions. Very straightforward. There should be no challenge for you. Very easy, I assure you. Stop saying how easy it's gonna be. It just puts even more pressure on me. Okay, here we go. What country first established zero as a numerical concept? Aztecs. Asian country. Asian? India, Japan, Greece. Oh. I think it was... Greece. No? No, I think it was either India or Japan. I, I... Greece has all the damn Pythagoras and all them. That would make sense. I'm gonna go with India. India? Wouldn't... Save state. We're on the console, it can't save state. It doesn't matter if we get this wrong, he just lets us try again. Holy sh... You gotta be tapping into the field. What the foot? How did you know that? Don't give me the double middle Big finger. Big Oh. He's doing the dreaded triple middle finger. What the fuck? Fight me. Correct. Good job, Makoto. I had faith in you when you came through for me. Seeing you get excited is getting me excited. Excited how? Pause. Very much pause. Excited how? Let's stack our effort one on top of the other and show those self-centered genius jerks what for. Hey, um, Taka. What are you talking you know? about? That sounds gay. I just noticed you seem to really hate the idea of geniuses. I guess I feel like they're just my sworn enemy, you know? Huh? But huh? well, you hit the nail on the head. Pretty sharp. But why? There's someone, someone I respect, someone I hate. Someone I have to surpass. Because he was a genius. He's like Rock Lee! What? In other words, Poor Norsuke Ishimaru. Do you recognize that name? He was my grandfather. Except he's actually related to his, like, mentor. I can see Lee. I can see it. And he's like, Lee, but because he has to surpass Neji. Which, I mean, he ends up doing, because he survives. Has to surpass Neji? I thought you were talking about Guy. No. He says he has to surpass someone. Wouldn't it be Sasuke? No. Wouldn't it be Naruto? No, his main beef is with Neji, which he technically surpasses Neji, because one uh. of them's dead. And I feel like if they got into a fight... Lee would win. Oh no, yeah, with the with the with eight the gates. The fucking gates. The gates are stupid. I will say, uh, I saw a discussion about this online. Technically, Neji's clans, the uh, Holmes technique, they could, te in theory, they could open up someone's eighth gate and just kill them. Oh. Like the seven, the first through seven gates, couldn't touch. Eighth gate dead. Yes. He was once Prime Minister of Japan. He was your grandpa? He went from Minister of Foreign Affairs to Chief Cabinet Secretary, and finally Prime Minister. And all without any support network, and only a high school degree. He was simply a genius. Everything he did, he did without any effort. He sounds like an amazing person. He was your grandfather? He was a genius. He'd never known failure. His success was unimaginable to a normal person. But because of that, 
He allowed himself to be controlled by naive emotions and got roped into a corruption scandal. He had no idea what the world of geniuses was really like. At least, that's how I see it. At that point, he fell just as fast as he had risen. And it wasn't just in politics. The business world had no use for him anymore, and he plummeted. The debt he left behind torments my family to this day. He died a few years ago. By the end, he wasn't speaking to anyone. Despite his fame, his legacy, the only people who came to his funeral were family members. That's hard to imagine. Some consider Genius's fate's blessing, but I see it as a tragedy more than anything. The tragedy of finding success without understanding the importance of effort. There's nothing worse than a genius who trips and falls. Just like my grandfather. And that's why you hate the word genius? My grandfather serves as an important lesson why you must never be deceived by words like genius. Relying on my own effort, I will reach greater accomplishments than anything my grandfather ever did. So we have to work hard to build a society where those who put in the most effort are properly rewarded. I see. I can agree with him, but Taka and I aren't the same. I can't reach for those kinds of big dreams. But you know, Makoto, I'm really happy. I figured the school would be full of geniuses. I mean, I thought everyone would be my enemy. I never imagined I'd meet someone here or I could share my story with. I'm so lucky to have met you here. This kind of thing happens only once in a lifetime. I hope we can stay close and combine our efforts to shape things the way we want. Yeah, definitely. We have to keep on studying. I feel like I've come to understand Taka a lot better. He's got an ironing board. Not one wrinkle. Not one singular wrinkle. I can't have it. Uh, Taka, I messed up. What do you mean? I may have wrinkled the fabric of space and time. Wrinkled, you say? Pulls out the iron. <laughs> I think we finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. Ghostface Skilla cleared the 30 SP threshold. Nice. Now, if only there was new game plus, we could actually use these. <laughs> I know we, we can use these if we go back to trials, but why would we? We've already finished the story. There's literally no reason to do trials anymore. Ta-da! Ding dong bing bong! <laughs> Alright, so that's Taka done. Day 20. Eh, fuck off. The Moe Moe Kuma. What does that mean? The cute Mo <laughs> Kuma. You ever heard the, the phrase Moe Moe Kun? I've heard of Moai. Not the same thing. Moe Tron! Anyone from 4chan remember Moe Tron? Uh, uh, the awful uh. anime girl amalgamation of everything people find cute from anime just meshed in one awful monstrosity that seeks only death or itself and its kin. Yakuya, you don't get to deserve to rest. What? Yakuya doesn't get to rest. He gets to work. Oh. Alright, um... Hero. We need more triangle ones, right? We do, we need two more. We got three people going. Um... Sack of marbles. What else do we need? Yo, mother! Silver spoon, antiseptic, Venus flytrap. Okay, well let me. Just... Oil paints, electronic table. Okay. All right, we can take Leon off of cleaning. Leon! Ashley! Hmm. Um. Question one Do you ever eat metal? No. No, I don't. What do you eat since you were a. Uh, some weird fish man? You. Well, 
I think the term kelp sucker is a racial slur to you pe to your people. Yes, it very much is. What the hell? Am I blind? I'm looking for... What are you looking for? Electronic table. That would probably be in the data center. Hmm. <laughs> right, and then. Question: How do you pronounce major? Major. Major. What what word do you think I'm trying to say? Major. 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 Measure. 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 What the f what the is how my mother pronounced. Measure. Measure? Sir, that can- that's- there's no way that's real. Better than Mulk. Oh, they don't give the boobs give to Mook Girl. Give him a glass of Mulk. Why are they not giving the boobs to Mook Girl? Not big enough titties. If it was real Junko, they would have given the boobs. Not big enough titties. No. Don't you remember real Jun Junko? I can fix her. No. No, you can't, sir. You really. You really can't. I am an extra dimensional entity, as are you. Really? We can fix her. You really can't. We can fix her. Um, who next? Who do we got next? Um, I think we've... Yeah, I think we've now exhausted all the people who we've previously hung out with. Owie. Owie? Owie. Owie. Owie! I feel like she's gonna be one of the longer ones since she's... Hi, baby girl! Since she, Are you, you okay? Know, survives. You go through with a shitter in this game, huh? Yeah, I feel like she's gonna have one of the most... I feel like all the survivors have the most amount, since they, you know, are there the longest. Alright, and I already know what she wants. Donuts. I already know. Where donuts. is it? Where is it? The flotation donut. There it is. <gasps> she hit me. Look at that face she's making, it's adorable! Oh man. Oh man. What's up? I'm getting totally fired up. Why? What? How come? How come doesn't matter. Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. Right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. Hey, are you making fun of me? No! I I'm just impressed. Really? The Morty lips. I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? You can't say that. Yeah. Like he's Is that another righteous slayer to your fishy kin? No, I'm pretty sure you just can't say spaz anymore. Why not? It's bad. How? It's bad to the people who, you know, are like that. Don't ask me why, I don't know the PC. You're making no sense. Like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. You did stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? So, like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. See? You're soft. You need more training. I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. What kind of remedy? Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. Wait, hang what is she saying here? Strip down to your waist? Like... Take off your shirt and whatnot. Take off your... Okay. Dry towel, start rubbing your skin. Okay. Ah, that's my head. That's that's my head. That's that's my head. 
<laughs> I'm currently holding your pillow to his face. Just, just give it a couple minutes. He, he'll stop struggling. Did it work? No. Oh. I call it. I call it. Uh. What do I call it again? The rub down. <laughs> way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Towel treatment? It's no bamboo beat down. There's no use of bamboo and it's not yoga, so something like towel treatment? Oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going out in my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. Um mm. Hina. Uh, I think the um, neighbors like it too. God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, yo. Wait, so you went on your balcony and stripped down? And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I'd hate to see you catch cold or something. Oh, okay, Hina. Okay, you... Man. That, um... Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, holiday. Holiday. We'll end it off on this one. Oh, it's just a free day. Yeah, remember? Every weekend, we get, I think, two free ones. Alright, Hina. I want to hug Hina. Just, just cause they need it. God, these people need a hug. Except Byakuya. You don't need jack shit. Byakuya needs to learn his goddamn place. <laughs> oh my god. Foreshadowing to the bad ending. What do you mean the bad ending? You don't remember the bad ending? Where Hina had everyone's child? Oh, you completely just blocked that out your mind. You forgot that happened. <laughs> his eyes are bulging out of his sockets. Sir, Toko died. No. Toko was dead. No. Nope. And Hina had nope. three I reject this baby reality. fathers. I reject this reality. In nope. some timeline, it happened. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. I killed that timeline. Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports, can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. I'll do some real sports. Hina, calm down, okay? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die like a bunny rabbit. What? But I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. Whatever! I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you think that's a little extreme? We have a pool. What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports teams in school? Jesus Christ! Jesus fuck! I think that Jesus fucked. No, that's... That happened. Someone. You think Jesus, in his whole life, did not have... A partner. I feel as though that would have been written down. No. The foot thing got written down. The fucking hot. Do you not remember the story where Jesus quite literally rubbed a woman's feet? And that's where we end that conversation. Six? That's right. Yeah. Track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The big one? She got to her main sport, but ran out of juice. Swimming. Main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, he got it. Gah, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports, even for you? If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A challenge? I mean... What I really love about sports isn't winning, you know having to fight and struggle and give it all you've got to reach the top. 
It's that excitement, that fear that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. Hmm? When you finally reach that goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know? Never really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she was talking about. But I could tell that the reason Hina was so amazing was how hard she could fight and struggle. So that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop? I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Did she just call herself? O okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Excuses? Hey! When did I ever make any excuses? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in here? Bacana. <laughs> That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But, I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian Thorpe said something like that. Who? Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm going to do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe around a thousand or something. You know, it took off like a bat out of hell. She recovered exactly as fast and strong as I would have expected. Again. 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 Haven't we technically already seen the inside of Hina's room? Or at least, her bed? Her bed. Oh yeah, remember when they did that? Why? Ah, uh, You know fan why. Fan service and to uh, add to the suspense of the situation, because immediately after was Sakura's murder, right? Yes. Murder. Suicide. Death. Ugh. Hey, Makoto. I'm so tired. Yeah, you look pretty tired. What happened? I woke up earlier than normal this morning, so I decided to do a push-up, sit-up, squat set. I ended up doing a thousand of each. Do ten more times. Well, that would explain it. Tired. So tired. You have to do, you have to do nine more sets. I want something sweet. I want those things you get when you- okay, it's- it's donuts. Donut! Donuts. Don't tell anyone, but there's actually a bunch of frozen donuts in the warehouse. Frozen? Donuts? Yeah! Throw those in the microwave for a few seconds and just imagine. Imagine the warm chewiness of that donut. You know what I'm saying, right? You'd eat the crap out of that, right? Oh, if it's the ones they served in, uh, school? You know those protein donuts they served in the cafeteria in the mornings? Oh, that shit was so good. You know who Hina would get along with? Me. Charlotte Kata Curry. Who? Right, you are not cut up on One Piece. Yeah, dude, I... He's I on am, Thriller Bark. I am in the middle of Thriller Bark, my man. At the re at the time of recording, we've started Egghead in the anime. He's on Thriller Bark. <sighs> you know, if we eventually get a get to a One Piece game, you you, you you gotta catch it. You you should be good for the first few, but eventually you you, you do. Okay, but what if I just uh. <laughs> Oh, you did. You went hyperspeed. <laughs> Who the fuck's Kaido? Oh, oh. <laughs> Who the fuck's Kaido? <laughs> you really do love donuts, huh? Is there anyone who doesn't? Who on earth? No. Who in the whole universe can't say they hate donuts? By the way, what the fuck's a donut? <laughs> Think about <laughs> the sensation of biting into a donut. First, the sweetness floods your mouth. Then the soft dough cushions you. Next you get that hit of egg and butter, right? She's making this unfortunately sexual. And your I, whole I, body I starts to melt. I, I no longer feel comfortable. You feel like you're falling into the center of the donut itself. When people talk about the donut effect, 
That's what they're talking about. The fuck's the donut effect? I'm pretty sure that's not about an actual donut. That's absolutely not true. I can't take it anymore. I'm drooling like Niagara Falls over here. Get out of my way, Makoto, or I got an uppercut with your name on it. Yes, please. Shame. No, it wasn't serious. It was for comedic effect. Sure it was, buddy. Keep telling yourself that. We'll see. Bottom. No. No. If you want to say that, at least say I'm a power bottom. Don't you dare. I don't think that's better. Yes, I it is. I don't think that's yes, better. Yes, it is. That just means you're aggressive while being pegged. Being a bottom does not mean that you get pegged. They're not the same meaning. It means... Mm. It could mean... I was about to say a sexual position. Press X to doubt. I'm not in the way. Wait for me, god of donuts. Almost before she was done talking, whenever I'm around her, I feel like I'm soaking in the essence of human vitality. Okay, Makoto, that was a weird... Weird phrase. Ding dong, bing bong. Okay. Day 20. Does us searching make it more dirty? I think the it just gets dirty. Hmm. I don't know. You may be onto something there. Um, no one needs this. Okay. And I think with that... Oh, God damn it. God, God damn it! Triangle rulers, everyone to the classroom! I think with that, we'll end it there. I can player one. I can player two. And we'll see you next time when we continue on school mode. Tell everybody I'm on my way. With Hina. And then after Hina... Fuck it. Hero. Mukro Ikusaba. No, I want to save Mukro for a good bit. Okay, guess she'll be a third to last. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mukuro. Ifumi. Yakya. Yakya. Alright, folks. Bye bye. Bye.